Hello, my chess females. This is Anime Epics, and today I'm going to be watching uh, Digital Circus Episode 3. If you're wondering why I'm watching this as a reaction channel, it's because I've already seen the other ones that haven't been reacted, so it's going to be a little bit unorthodox. So uh, let's just see and watch, okay? Okay? Okay. Uh... Lich Productions. <laughs> What's the matter? What happened? I can't hold it any longer. What do you mean hold it? We can. We can't die from oxygen deprivation. Remember? How do you know that? It still feels you like you're gonna yourself die. Something? Try not thinking about it. Or you could toughen up. I want to see what your funny cartoon body does. Hey, take it easy. I mean, aren't you a cartoon character as well? Aren't you like? It, basically, based on Bug's body with those gloves, you're just a recolor version of him, aren't you? But oh, take it easy, that's you. All right. Take it easy, that's you. All right, we've entered the blue zone. <coughs> hey, there's something new. Okay, we're getting red. Wow. Oh, orange. Yellow. Sadistic motherfuckers! Whoa, whoa. Sadistic motherfuckers! <laughs> they're enjoying her not jo they're enjoying her joking. Pause. Now she's turning blue! She was already blue. Huh. Guess the hue shift just gets faster. Why am I the one doing this? Why not one of you guys? Because something different happens with each person. For really? So if you don't breathe, you die, so go ahead and do that because I'll be here hell of happy. <laughs> For instance, Kinger starts glowing, Ragatha's hair noodles stick up, Wangle's mask starts spinning, huh? and Zubal turns straight. My limbs straighten up and fuck off. <laughs> that you? He refuses to show us because he's a coward. I want to keep the mystery alive. What do you, the viewers, think it is? You dead, you die, and I'll, I'll be more happy if that was true. Will you stop doing that? Why is everybody just standing around when there's adventure to be had? <coughs> Today's adventure is the mystery of Mildenhall Manor! That's right, this big spooky mansion has been rumored to be filled to the brim with paranormal activity! It's up to you to solve the house's deep Oh, mystery. the kids are gonna love that! Out all the ghoulish ghost activity you can! If they like Fine Nights and Freddy's and Poppy Play them, they're gonna love this, aren't they? What the fuck? Where's Zubal? I made this adventure really cool and uh, mature, just for them. Zubal, you coward, just do something. What the hell? What? The NPCs aren't going to become self-aware in this one, right? How should I know? I'm not the boss. Oh, wait, yes, I am. <laughs> anyway, everybody into the fractal noise. I mean, there's a theory that Kay might kill his brother Abel. There was like a second, a uh, how you say, CP... AI able, so it makes sense that it, he might have killed him. It's adventuring time! Wow, that quick. No, like, like, just into the house. Nothing else. Like, I get it. They don't want to make this quick, but sure. Oh, this place is spooky. I wonder how hard Kane's gonna go with the scare factor. I hope this adventure doesn't end up being another horrible nightmare. I'm not really a fan of horror, and I don't really handle jump scares that well. Uh, Pop me, let me tell you something. No one is. That's why when they make a horror game, they don't really make it scary. They just make it into something that looks scary, but it isn't scary. So something like... Make this toy into a killer! Like Poppy Playtime, Finance of Freddy's, and Benny and the Ink Machine. They basically take something childlike and make it into an evil monstrous thing. Oh. <laughs> ah, come on! That <coughs> wasn't even scary! What? You scared of the vacuum cleaner too? Hey, be nice Luigi to reference. It's been a rough couple of days. Her and everyone else. Right, Gangle? Does anybody hear that? <laughs> No. Oh, hell no, those teeth! I'm ghostly! What? And I'll be okay today! Ah, uh, he's cute! Why won't they go back in? 
you. <laughs> I remember my first wild take. I don't know why they're not returning, you. though. That didn't happen for me. Before you, you continue on your adventure, you have to choose which door you're gonna go through. The door on the left is the normal door. Rated I mean, wow go. for all ages. The door on the right is the really scary door. Rated hot for mature zoobles only. <laughs> it's it's, it's funny. The <laughs> Why the jack? Yeah, I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll admit this. Yeah, I, I usually hate these type of tutorials. Let's just let's make it random, but I, I'll agree with that, Jack. X. What? I thought we were supposed to capture <coughs> the ghosts. Which door should we choose? Hmm, not sure. Let's try this out. Aww. Don't worry, Gangle, I'll get it for you. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew. Those eyes. Oh, that's the scary door. Zubo, come on out. I just want to talk to you. Hmm. Oh, I know. What the, could you have done that the whole time? Zubal, I, I just want to get to the bottom of why you keep skipping all my amazing adventures. You could end up really hurting Bubbles' feelings. You know, I have a theory that uh, Zubo might be finding the exit, or he, she, might, they might be the coder or something, like, you know, finding the glitches and finding a way out, but that's just my theory. Like, I'm, t I'm too much interrupting. I'm too immersed in this. Bubbles feelings? Yeah, enough about Bubbles feelings. How about your feelings? You know, one thing I like about Kane is, I mean, yeah, the last episode did make him into, like, how to say it, a nut job, crazy, and kind of a sociopath because he did kill Gam uh, Gumi, but he's, he's very nice in this situation at the moment. I... So, what's on your mind, Zubal? I... would rather not. <laughs> That's hilarious! Go on. No, I mean, I've already told you what my problem is. You just never remember because... <sighs> never mind. My mind is a beeswax-polished coconut. Nothing ever escapes these cakes. So what can I do to make my adventures more appealing to you? See? This is exactly what I'm talking about. All you're thinking about is your adventures. It has nothing to do with the adventures. It's more just... Ugh, forget it. You're probably not even listening. Zubal, look at this cool bee I drew. And she's right. Hey, they're right. Yeah, he, he's not really listening. But I guess that's just his programming. But I hope they don't... I hope they take the route of giving him more depth. Like, you know, the typical robot or AI that starts getting emotions and all that stuff. But... I highly doubt they're gonna do that in this situation because, to be honest, I feel like Kang will be the villain for that arc because he's gonna manufacture or something. <gasps> ah, sorry guys, a little ads, just forget about it. Uh, where are we? Oh. Bodies of fake dead bodies. Oh, that's no. Ew. Stretchy. What the hell? I wonder what this thing is. Wait. My name is Baron Theodore Mildenhall. Hunting has been a hobby of mine for as long as I can Whoa! remember. Although one could say it eventually became more of an obsession. The creature you see before you is one I've been pursuing for years. Not quite a man, but not quite an animal. Simply Ooh. unholy, something evil. I took it upon myself to spend every waking moment doing all I could to protect my family from the creature, hoping that when I'd eventually killed it, I would be freed from this awful feeling, this inescapable... Typical horror cliche, you know, typical horror game story. There's always going to be something horrible, but... I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm excited to see how they're gonna make this into a parody. Like, uh, you know, the parody of, you know, Puppy Playtime and all those other games that try to mimic each other and become a horror. But not really horror, because they don't really want to scare off the kids. Inescapable dread. I was wrong. You know, I'm starting to think... What? How about we try to find Stop him back... 
up to the others? Okay, cool, that's great. I love these adventures. You and me, Pummy. I lo love right watching these adventures. Now. Ooh, hold up, hey, hold up. Don't, don't use all that energy over there. Does anyone for something else? It's locked, of course. It's locked. I love that it's locked. <laughs> oh, clues, mysteries. Tuesday, December 4th. Although I had shot the creature multiple times in its vitals and severed its head to keep as a prize on my wall, my troubles were just beginning. I took my eyes off the body for what felt like only a minute, and when I looked back, the body was gone. The creature was not dead, and it would be back to reclaim what I'd taken from it. If anyone is listening to this, all I ask of you is one thing. Do not let the head out of your sight. You have been warned. You, you could have just said I in the beginning! They really tried to fuck us over. He, I think he did it on purpose. I mean, it is a game, so... I think they're supposed to be on purpose, so... Yeah! Yeah! What? Oh, Jesus Christ. This is some rather inconvenient lore placement. I got it! Oh, look at that! It's 2D! And this is some rather inconvenient darkness. <laughs> what was that? Was that you? No. Oh, wait. You mean me grabbing you right now? Yeah, that was me. Kinger! Ooh, damn Kinger! Easy there with the touchy touchy feeling. Don't talk to a girl's body without permission. You get sued for that, really. You that's called sexual harassment, but whatever, you know this. Uh that's my eye. Yes, but which eye? I really don't think that matter. Will you stop touching my eye? Oh, yes. I know. <laughs> I just remembered a really funny joke. <laughs> Why did you scream that? Maybe you wasn't actually that funny. Oh my god. I think we should hold on to each other and slowly make our way back into the trophy room. Uh, sounds fine to me. Ah, That's cute. I can imagine some fan art of them hugging like, oh, Stop, you know what I'm saying? What was that? What's what? It's probably just magnets. Huh? Or a boat. A boat? Whatever the case, I think we should be completely quiet. I... Okay, yeah, I agree. Yeah, don't make no sound. Yeah, stay quiet, and hopefully you guys don't get lost, and hopefully that the monster doesn't find you. Yeah, it's not like the quiet place. Or maybe scream and panic, that always helps. That always makes the games more exciting. <laughs> What do you mean? Wait, there's a fly in here. Don't you think that's making a lot of noise? <coughs> there is a fly. And gotcha! I think I got him. I can't see my hands. <gasps> <gasps> that didn't scare me, but I was surprised. I was surprised. It it disgusts me. Okay, time to pause it and see how it's fuck up it's gonna be. <gasps> yeah. I don't know if I'm ready to unpause this. I don't, I don't know. Okay, I'm pause. <laughs> what the hell? Maybe, I'm sorry. Maybe if you stay really, really still. It probably won't do nothing. I'm sorry. Could you speak up? I couldn't quite make that out. Tommy! I think this might be the creature from the tapes! <laughs> How is he so chill about this? What? Got it. Smack his face off. Oh, yeah. Prepare for takeoff, cause this boat is going up. Huh? Push a button. It's not up. 
Oh shit. Why are we going There's up? always a human minion. Ah! Oh, they're going down. I do not use my adventures to torture my guests. Any torment I inflict is 100% accidental, like any good war criminal. We weren't even talking about that. I really couldn't give less of a crap about the adventures. <gasps> what? How did that pass? How did that pass? Really? She managed to say a cuss word without the bleeping. She's suspicious. Uh, they're suspicious. They're suspicious. Yeah, that, that's suspicious. That's suspicious. Like I said, maybe she's a... They're, they're a coder. They're a coder. Then what is your problem, Zubal? I'm trying my best to remember, but both you and my brain won't tell me. That's my excuse for failing tests. My brain and you won't let me. It's me, remember? I don't like myself. I hate this body. I hate all these stupid removable pieces. I just want to find something that feels good. Oh, yeah. Oh, you and me. You and me. Oh, yeah. Now I remember why I couldn't remember. It's because that problem is already solved. So you can swap out your undesirable Zubal parts for better ones. I've been trying to find parts I like since the day I got here. So, back to the adventures. Forget it. Forget it? Just forget it. Forget what? Yeah. How- wait, how old is this? How is King? Because I feel like, like I said before, the whole King delivering emotion and talent just might not work anymore because he's like- 50 years old to delay, then I think it's all, hope is all last for him to understand really human emotion. Forget what? Kane, nobody likes your stupid adventures. Ha <laughs> ha, good one, Zubal. Ragatha's just too nice to say anything. Jax just likes to fight with everybody. <laughs> Why did that bleep? Why did that bleep? Gangle's too shy to speak up. Kinger's insane, and, and Pomni, she looks traumatized every time she comes back from it. <coughs> oh, Zubal, 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 making adventures is my art. It's all I exist to do, all I'm good at. And, uh, what you're saying could imply that I'm bad at the only thing I'm good at, and that... <laughs> that'd be... Oh, no. Oh, no. He's glitching. Uh, whose therapy session is this again? Oh yeah! We oh, need yeah. to get to the bottom of your behavioral issues. I'm gonna show you some ink blots, and you're gonna say the first word that comes to your mind. Like, yeah, I seriously feel bad for Kinger because I feel like... Like I said before, I feel like, I feel like he does feel emotions, but I feel like he's having a, a blockage of some sort. Because I feel like I've seen a lot of these AI characters a lot, especially in Aya and the Green Lantern. And uh, yeah, it won't go well. Ah! And again. Give it a moment, ladies and gentlemen. Oh god, where are we now? I'm not sure. Seller of some kind. <gasps> a dead body! Touch it with a stick! I like dead bodies! I can have anything, but touch it with a stick! I wouldn't see the reaction. Things have gotten far worse than I could ever have imagined. My paranoia had driven me to the point where I was no longer the protector my wife and theoretical children needed. Jumping at every shadow, every noise, I ended up shooting the love of my life. Mistaking her for the creature. It's ironic, isn't it? Wait a minute. Is this Kinger? Is this Kinger speaking right now? In my attempts to protect her, I ended up becoming the monster myself. Ah, plot twist. Now I wait down in my cellar, no longer <coughs> having anything to protect but my own soul. <coughs> if nothing else. I will own soul. If nothing else, I will slay the beast that took everything from me. How's about we take his gun? Yeah, sounds good to me. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Maybe poke it with a stick first, because we don't know if that dead body is really dead. 
We can, it might be undead and come back and eat our brains and toes. Okay, I won't. Ooh! That's not straight! Poke it with a stick! Poke it with a stick! <sighs> Looks like we've got two shots. Let's make Kinga it. Kinga with a shotgun! Uh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah! <gasps> Stay behind me. Please let me shacks! Please let me check and shoot him right in the face. Ooh. Oh. What the heck? Oh, that's the head and body. Kinger, I, I think we may have a problem this way too. Just leave it to me. I can handle this. Ah, he's he's competent now! Yay! What a surprise! Let's hope this continues you on. Really, I hope. Shoot that mother! Yes! Now poke it with a stick. Well, that wasn't so bad. Poke it with a stick. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. The biblically accurate angels are so horrifying. Yeah, why? Who brings harm to it will be dragged down into the cold, spiraling pits of hell where my soul resides. Why are you in hell? But I need a living host in order to escape the hall of the damned, and your bodies will be my only means of doing so. Asshole! You make sure that I'm not from Purgatory, so I can fucking. Record this if he was in hell. I hope you're ready, because the next breath you take down there will be your last, and your bodies will belong to me. I don't think you want any of that, but. I feel like they're gonna be in the lobby now. They're not really dead, but sure. Aww! your husband killing you and everything. Oh, you know how men are. <gasps> the internet will sure love her, won't you, viewers? Can't wait for Twitter to go crazy for this dead bitch, ain't it? <sighs> and I know you, Alice, are gonna like this too, ain't you? I know what you do online in the bedroom. <laughs> Always having the silliest priorities. <laughs> Oh, I know it. <laughs> Dude! Dude! Twist his nuts, twist his ankles, and tear his ears apart! Or just let him be, because it's good to let him be shut up. If your friends see him, I only hope he doesn't bore them to death with his endless monologues. That man could turn a 57 second story into a Greek tragedy. I'll be sure to ask them next time I see him. Thanks <coughs> again for the tea. I had a really nice time uh. here. <laughs> Don't mention it. Feel free to visit any time. Definitely. Ah, she's nice. Just hopefully she doesn't backstab us like any other horror game character who pretends to be nice. Just to backstab us and steal our swords and kill us and then dispose of our bodies to rule us in the world. Yeah, just hope. Congratulations, my little ironclad waffle cones. You've ah. taken the pacifist route. And you should be proud of what good people you are. Unfortunately, we still need to wait until your other teammates finish their adventure before I can grant you permission to leave. I wonder how long that'll be. The Pokemon trading card. Um. Not really typical of what you'd think hell would be. Yeah, where's the sexy hell demons? Where's Charlie? Where's Baggy? Where's Angel Dust? You know, it'd be fucking funny if Angel Dust was here as a cameo just for this. Try to stay calm. I'm sure Kane included a way to escape.
Hold on. Whoa. Wow. Oh, wow. That's nice. Let me try something. <coughs> There's actually a staircase down there. Creative. There could be a way out. Maybe it'll work for us since we still have our bodies. Though I'm worried about what that tape said earlier. I'm just gonna try going fast. Wait, no. Nice and steady. Nice and steady wins the games. And you win fast and pace. And that doesn't win the game. That makes you kill. It will kill. Well, good luck knows you, Pony. Now you're gonna be possessed. Ooh. Ah. Smash. Still smash. Wait, what did he do? Ooh. Wait, wait, what? Wait a minute. Are these souls the the other players? You know the like Cosmo and etc. etc. Are these the other ones? Seven years of computer science for this, huh? huh. What? Every day I spend here is one nightmare after the next. I knew it would end up like this. He just wants me to suffer. Who? Kane? I really am in hell. Don't say that. You're not in... Well, I, I guess we are technically in... Forget about that. How about we just relax for a bit while nothing's chasing us? Aww. 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 You deserve a hug, mommy. You deserve a hug. Take us, you son of a bastard! Give him a give her a hug now. Give her a hug. A little hug and kiss in the cheek. Go for it. That's it. Do it! It's my fault we went down this path, wasn't it? I'm really sorry for that. Why have you been acting so different lately? <laughs> I have, haven't I? I'm normally not too good with memories. But being surrounded by darkness always brings me back to a certain time. Aww. Right after my wife had, had abstracted. <gasps> Queener! Might be true! Might be true! You know Queener? The black chess queen? That might be true! I don't recall the exact string of events, but we both ended up in the fort together. <clears throat> It was dark. The darkness seemed to calm her down a bit. The harsh, jagged edges smoothed out, and she didn't seem aggravated anymore. Aww. She wasn't the same as before, but she was calm enough to touch one last time before she got sent to the cellar. I'm always taken back to that moment when engulfed in darkness. You had a wife? Like... Here in the circus? Yeah. She was funny, creative, really into entomology. <gasps> I used to hate bugs, but she somehow got me to like them. It's not the most cheerful memory, but it's one I at least have control over. Oh. Pumpy! You daughter of a bastard! Give him a hug now! Give him that son of a gun a hug now! And give him a kiss in the cheek. Oh, for it. He deserves it. I know how it can feel in this circus. Sometimes it all just feels pointless. That's life. But it's not. Not at 
if you have people who care about you. Good memories can do a lot. Hold on to them. And cherish the people around you. You never know when they'll be gone. Oh! <laughs> oh! Again! With the middle of crisis! Yes, give me midlife crisis all over again. <clears throat> In this world, the worst thing you can do is make someone think they're not wanted or loved. I'm glad you're here with me. You know, I've been thinking about that last tape. He said... The next breath you take down there will be your last. <clears throat> Maybe we can get through if we don't breathe. I'm huh? not very good at holding my breath. Well, how about we try not thinking about it? <laughs> uh -uh. Oh. If we leave and we go back to the circus, you're just going to go back to being crazy. You're not going to remember any of this, are you? Don't worry about me. As long as you remember it, things will be okay. Goose ah! <laughs> works! Oh, whoever's writing this scene, you deserve a kiss! You deserve a kiss! Right in the head! Not in the lips. I'm not that type of fruity. <laughs> You're very strong, Pommy. And I know you'll be able to get through this. Just hold on to me. We'll get through it together. Oh! You ready? Kinger, are you guys okay? Was it scary? I'm fine, actually. What happened up here? Uh, don't worry about that. Pommy was very brave. At least I think she was. Were you? Something like that. Hey, Radica. Yeah? I just want to say thanks for always being concerned about me. I feel like through everything. I haven't really been appreciative enough about that. Uh, oh, thank you, Pommy. I just want to make sure you're doing all right. You know, we care about you. Did you remember to get my comedy mask? Uh, and, and now I'm, I'm just starting to wonder if the Wild West was even a real direction at all. Uh, Stacy, looks like everybody completed the adventure and they're coming home. Pretend we weren't having a therapy session. Okay. Welcome back, my meowing. Ah. Uh, like I say, I feel bad for Kane because eventually, if they do leave, everybody leaves. He's gonna be stuck there alone, with nobody. Probably gonna be deleted forever because he's dangerous. Mates. Don't ever call us that again. So what was it like being stuck with a nutcase? It wasn't that bad, actually. Jax! You son of a gun! Whatever, I, I have no hate for you left. I'm filled with happiness and wholesomeness and hope after that. I mean, don't, I cannot hate you now because I, I feel nice now. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know what to feel about this because I'm happy. I'm happy. And that's all I can say about this because I feel happy and hopeful. All I can say, goodbye, my just people. See you in the next episode, you son of my guns. 
Love you. Like and subscribe. Make sure you watch my videos.